Hey folks, welcome back to To The Moon. So last we left off, we were listening to this beautiful song, after Neil kind of left us behind. (laughs) Make us we chose to stay back, and I'm glad that we did. If not for the music, then just for the memories. And as you can see, we just started. Because we are still in old age, but we did just get to the part of his life where River is still alive. So I'm hoping for more scenes between them, right? And more insight into their relationship, maybe? Yeah. (laughs) Okay, so we did the puzzle before we left, so all I have to do is go back, right? Okay, activate. Oh yeah, and there was someone named Anya that we haven't seen yet. So maybe we'll see her soon, too. Finally. (laughs) Oh, we can't talk to him anymore? Okay, well. (laughs) Okay, so what's going on over here? Oh, the house. Huh, look what we have here. I didn't realize the house was built so recently. I bet they saw this cliff and thought... It was not dangerous enough without people living on it. So I guess they chose this site for their house for some reason. Let's see. Nick called and said I should come. I brought you pickled olives. They're your favorite, right? I heard about River. Will she be okay? Her illness was just diagnosed in its last stage. Fortunately, it is treatable. But the medical bills... We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for our treatment. I'm just relieved that she'll be okay, but... You don't know how much this place means to her. She's going to be heartbroken. I'd help, but Ted and I have barely been getting by since the market crashed. What are you going to do now? I'm... I'm going to tell her that we can make it. I'm going to tell her that we can afford everything. I don't want her to do anything crazy. You shouldn't lie to her. You don't understand, Isabel. If she found out, I'm not sure which she'd choose. So what? (laughs) If she chooses not to save herself for the sake of this place, then... So be it. It's what she really wants. I really dislike when you neurotypicals think you know what's best for others. I hate when you call me that, Izzy. Do you think this is all about her? What about me, Isabel? After all these years, am I not allowed to be selfish even once? I don't want to be alone, Isabel. I'm not going to let her die. Hmm. That's arrogant. 
I don't care. Where are you going? I'm going to pick something from this cliff and bring it back to her. At least, that'll give her some comfort. That doesn't make what you're doing any less wrong. Nick wanted me to give you this. He said it's called... Everything's Alright. It isn't. You know, I'd like to know more about her. Just her saying the word neurotypicals makes me curious. Can we... can we walk over to her? Maybe get we... we don't want her to see us or anything. Oh. Okay, I guess the music box was something. Okay, and that's our memento for the... for the memory. What else can we see around here? Oh, alright. That was easy. <laughs> Not sure if we're supposed to go down here. Yep, okay. So this is the end. I guess we can go and see what Johnny picked up forever. able to go back there. Hmm. Oh, we can, maybe. Or, or not. That's alright. You know, I could see why someone would choose a place like this for their house. I'm just mesmerized by the sound of those waves, you know? Okay, and then we have the last link. Oh, are we sure we can't talk to her, or at least, like, hear what she has to say? Well, maybe Isabel will come back. I guess we'll just head on out. Hmm. Oh wait, I think I actually got this one. Uh, like that, and then like that, right? And that's a diagonal. Nice! Finally I did it! Okay, getting better at these. Hmm. Okay. Well, nothing to see here, so I guess we'll move on, right? Pick out olives again. Oh, maybe this is River, River before she got sick. Huh. So you guys are really going for it, huh? Yup. The construction's starting in just a few months. It's a bit of a squeeze we had to split the payment. But with financing, we'll make do. How wonderful. Having your dream house built at such a beautiful site. You had your wedding at that lighthouse near there all those years ago, didn't you? Oh, wow. That must have been beautiful. That's not all that's special about it. We have a long history with that place. <laughs> it's nice to see you're looking happy. Well, it's good to have some good news at a get-together for once. Cheers, and congratulations, you two. Hey, cheers! Be right back. I'm gonna get some fresh air. Me too. Also, yeah, I think that Nicholas was the guy that helped us move the piano, right? So now I understand who that is. Okay. 
Well, buddy, it's sure been a while. Hasn't it? We know how hard it is to get across the city. few cities nowadays. That river, still so quiet, huh? Uh, she's actually been talkative at home, and with Isabel. I guess she's just not used to you. <laughs> so I'm the bad guy here, huh? Oh. Hey, so did you tell River that thing from back then? Oh, I don't like the spooky music. What is this about? Uh, I did. So, how did she take it? For the most part, she took it well. But something bugs me. Ever since the incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. Origami rabbits? Yes, lots of them. Huh. I used to fold origami animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's the same thing. She's been doing nothing but making the same rabbits day in and day out. Our house is literally filled with them now. Didn't Isabel say that something like that is a common trait of River's condition? Oh, like a hyperfixation. I guess that would make it less creepy and more normal, right? Yes, but something doesn't feel right this time. When I ask her about it, she never answers. Instead, she gets this distant look in her eyes. It's almost as if she wants something from me. And the strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her, too. Have you asked Isabel? Yes. She said she'd talk to her about it, but got nothing. Well, I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this. I've known you since middle school, and you're notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things. There's no need to get too worked up. Usually when someone says that, something's always wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're probably right. Probably. I'm always right, John. <laughs> yeah, I don't like- I don't like how this feels. And that too, yeah. Wait, so even he himself never knew what was up with those rabbits? Forget about the stupid rabbits, we've got bigger problems. It's a confined memory and there's no mementos anywhere. Uh, don't worry, we can probably draw one out from him. How? Leave it to me. I just gotta give the bartender a quick visit first. Oh, interesting. Oh, oh. We're playing as him now. Oh, no way. We can insert ourselves into memories like this? Hey there, can I get you anything? Hey yo, can I get a bottle of pickle olives, please? Huh. Sure, uh, cash or credit. Uh, check? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, we don't take checks. Oh, just, uh, put it on my tab, then. <laughs> Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? Oh, ah, uh, shit, we didn't- Ah, uh, you're so getting resetted. <laughs> oh no. I mean- don't tell me we didn't- we didn't bring, like, a wallet or something. You know? Cash for emergencies? That's like the- that's like the golden rule, okay? One of the golden rules of travel. Come on. <laughs> hey there, could I get you anything? Hello! Could I get a bottle of pickle olives, please? <laughs> sure, cash or credit. Just, uh, put it on my tab. I feel like spending big today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here are your pickle olives. Thanks, bro. You'll be getting an enormous amount of tips today. Thank you, sir. You're such an ass, Neil. 
I'll loosen up. <laughs> okay, so now what? Why, is that a bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? Yeah, are you a fellow olive lover? Indeed I am. Just got a fresh bottle of myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure. One. Why don't you grab a seat? We'll down a bottle together. Oh yeah, that sounds just swell. Hey, that disabled taste simulation now. Oh Neil, I don't think I feel like it. <laughs> I'm so gonna get you back for this. Oh no. So that's how we got our first toaster. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you okay there? Uh, yes, I'm just savoring the amazingness of pickled olives. See, I should have traded spaces with him, okay? I would have. I would have loved it out a bottle of those. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone could. Uh, <laughs> find such things to be disgusting. <laughs> Take your time. We've got two bottles left. <laughs> oh, Neil's... Neil better get a bonus for this or something. <laughs> so I said, hey, that's not right. And they totally agreed. And, and you know what else is wrong with society today? <laughs> Yeah, I actually have it right here. Why? Uh, may I see it? Uh, okay. Uh, what is that? Here it is. And freeze! Finally, dear lord! How are the olives, Neil? Oh, shut your mouth. What? No, what is that? I don't like that there's a spooky music playing. Are we not gonna know what that is? Wait, don't you dare! So worry, sheesh. See, I'm doing it by the books. Are we not gonna ever gonna know what that is? Hulk smash! Neil, seriously. I'm trying to get into this and you're ruining the mood. It's totally worth it. <laughs> Wait, can we not go outside? I kind of wanted to see what the ladies were talking about. Then again, I guess this is Johnny's memory, so... He wouldn't know. Huh, yeah. That wouldn't be an option anyway. Alright, well... Actually, wait, I wanted to check the notes to see if we got anything... Else, yeah. Oh, they're Johnny's favorite. Okay, so now we know. I guess, uh, who the olives belong to, but... Yeah, the same stuff as always, and we still don't know who Anya is. Because, I don't know, I'm thinking that... Like, the obvious choice would be that it's, like, their daughter or something, but it also could be, like... I don't know, a dog? We didn't hear her mention in this conversation, so... That's interesting. Okay, but anyway... Time to go back. Oh god, I can barely... I can barely see... that. <laughs> um... Cause yeah, the color... the, the picture is white. And sort of little squares. Oh, okay. Hold on. Uh. Oh, maybe it's like this? And then like this? I think I might have done it wrong, but that's fine. Yeah, I think I did it wrong. It's fine. It's fine. We are gonna push through anyway. I swear to god, if like, if those puzzles are the crux of the entire game and I get the bad ending, I'm gonna hate myself. 
Oh. Oh wow, they're young now. So we must have hopped back to hopped back a lot then. Craggy nutcrackers! <laughs> you are an Australian. Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a damn flagpole! Just jump down, it's not like you can be hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's like a freaking skydive! You can't stand here, you can't get off. God, I hate when that happens. I swear if this place- ah! <laughs> Ava, what the hell? Was. <laughs> oh, so what exactly is that paper then? Oh. Why would they abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed. By ships, I mean. You know how it is, now that everything has GPS and all that. Look, River. This place means a lot to me too, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well, in a few years, we could be- we could afford to build a house on top of here. It's going to be a squeeze, but- We'd be able to see her from the window! In the morning, at night, we'd always be nearby. And- and we could walk here at any time! She'll never be alone again, John! I'll be able to watch over her every day! Yeah. We will. Watch over her, huh? Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than any of the moments leading up to it. The important thing is that over here, they're happy. Look at them. Let's move on. Watching over her. We've definitely heard that phrase before. Yeah, I guess... We can just go down here, huh? Wait a minute. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. They were referring to the lighthouses on you, weren't they? I suppose so. Then... That river... She declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but... Ugh, I, I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyway. She's not our client. Hmm. Well, there we have it, the answer to all my questions. Well, not all my questions. Oh. Huh. And yeah. Ava's right. It is very sweet to see them happy. And in love. One here, too? Oh. Guess it's our memento, then. Oh, well, that's the end? <sighs> you know, I kind of wish we had time to, to, like, really explore every memory. Like, there are more things to find, more conversations to... to peer in on. I, I get that we're here to do a job, that's why we're jumping so much, but... 
especially with just how beautiful the music and the scenery is, and to see them so in love. It would be nice, nice to stay for a while, you know? Well, let's press forward. I'm just going to guess at this one. Yeah, I think I messed up again. Damn it. <laughs> so much for, like making this content extremely satisfying to look at. Yeah, that's close enough, right? <laughs> oh wait, no, shit! <laughs> Oh, damn. Look at that current and ideal number on the side. That's embarrassing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank God we're only here for the story. Well, <laughs> okay. Yeah, we have some time. Let's move on. River? Oh. Wait, so that means that she's been making these rabbits for a while now, not just when they were older. Oh, is that what they meant? Is that what they meant when they said that this was normal for her? Maybe she's been doing it for a long time, and they just kind of ramped up over the years. Oh wait, could I have collected that? Is that one of our memory links? Kind of forgot they were supposed to be collecting stuff. No? Okay. Guess we'll carry on. Maybe the piano? Hmm, an old baby grand piano. How the hell did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, but I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. What What are all these, these references? Was this like... <laughs> I feel a little mean, but I'm like, wow, was this like cool? Was this cool in like 2016? I mean, there's, there's Hulk and TARDIS and then another thing in this episode, right? <laughs> Not really. You can't even get, the, get it through the door. Mm, true. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the ass for everyone. It'd probably take an entire episode to get it inside. You know, I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither. Sounds pretty ep epic. Oh. You just had to call it epic, didn't you? Of all words. Oh no, not this music. You went out for a haircut this early in the morning? What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. 
Uh, it was yellow. What else? A bit puffy. And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River? I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. Hmm, maybe she'll enlighten us at some point. You think she's... Do you? Perhaps. <laughs> Who knows? But like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paid for over with. I mean, all they've said is that maybe that she's neurodivergent, which makes a lot of sense. It would make sense for her to have a hyperfixation. I don't know, is, is this that weird? So this is the day she started it, huh? Many long strands of orange hair. And I'm wondering if I missed something. I think the platypus has got to be a memory link, right? Oh, that's our, yeah, that's our memento then. Maybe it's that painting over there? No? Let's go take a look. New boxes of plain paper. Oh. Oh, I think I know where this is going. And that's where she was getting all that paper from. I guess I'm feeling to understand why this is so strange. Maybe because there's so many of them, maybe because she did this for so many years. But just it could just be something she really likes. One last puzzle before we go, I think. Let's see if I can, like, not fuck it up this time. <laughs> um, oh, wait. I think I know this one. Hell yeah, dude. What's up? Okay, so I can only do some of them. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. I would head on to the next memory, but again, we are... We have been recording for a bit, so I think I'm going to leave it here before we move on. And now that we're having some mystery solved, like Anya's identity and stuff like that, maybe we'll have more answers, you know? Maybe we'll find out the root of the whole rabbit thing very soon. Love to see. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.